What's up guys, BKB here, and today I just wanted to bring you a tutorial on Last Man Standing. There's not really anything out for it um, that I could find, so I just wanted to help you guys out today with a frame rate increase. Um, I play on a low-end system. I actually have integrated graphics card. It's the, it's the Intel 4000 HD, and today I just want to actually show you how to make some config changes and it'll make the game run a lot smoother for you people that have low-end systems that are like me. Now the game might look a little different. It might look a little bit, you know, low quality, but that's not our goal. Our goal is to get FPS increased so that way we can play the game. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your file explorer first off. And this is assuming that you have the game already and that um, you already have you know the first time loaded up in the game and you have the files and what you're going to want to do is navigate down to documents right here and then you're going to want to find a folder called free rain and within that folder you're going to look for something called lms last man standing and then here you're going to find something called game settings and what you want to do is, is you want to right click that highlight it right click it open with and um, some people might have Notepad++, but you don't need that to, um, to config these files. You can just do Notepad. And here you're going to see this. Bunch of mumbo jumbo. So I'm just going to go through each one of these and um, tell you, I guess, what it does in my opinion on it. But um, this right here, I don't really know. I'll just leave it at that. This right here out of memory v uh, out of v memory encountered um used to before this last update i would use this and i would set this to one of course zero means false and one means true on on most things except for like you know the quality you know one's going to be the lowest or zero is going to be off but on this if i would set it to one my game wouldn't crash but now it just if i use this it defaults it to a different um resolution and I don't really use it no more, so the settings that I'm going to show you is going to going to minimize the crash. I mean, the crash is still going to happen. I think it happens to everybody, but, I mean, what are you going to do? I mean, it's still an alpha. But uh, VSync enabled, obviously, you want that to be zero. You do not want that to be enabled because we don't have a high-end system, and that's not what we're looking for. Uh, train displacement, I would put that zero. Uh, your particle quality, I would put that to one. Your water quality... Put that to one. Now your grass distance, you can't change that. So it's just going to default 0.5. So if you don't have a 0.5, then you might want to change that. Your grass quality is going to be one. Your tree quality is going to be one. Your sky quality is going to be one. Texture quality should be one. Your SSAO quality should be zero. This Anastrophe quality.